Hey people, I woke up out of this dream today and I was in this huge Avery out on the back porch and it went on forever. You couldn't see the end of it, but it was real. I couldn't tell it was a dream. And then I went out the, the side door and I was out at the ocean, still in this huge Avery. And I was walking out on this pier and I had somebody with me and I saw these five birds standing in line and their feathers was kind of ruffled, you know, like they were standing with the wind to their back, which I know birds never do, you know. You see birds, they always let you know which direction the winds come from, especially when they're standing in ranks. And they were blocking the pier where I was wanting to go past them, but I didn't want to spook them. And I was kind of thinking, this guy behind me, boy, he's kind of crazy, he might do something stupid with the birds and they were all facing me and this one bird on the end he was moving his beak like he was talking to me and he was rolling his eyes like he was pointing at the other bird at the other end like he didn't want him to hear it's like he was whispering something so I leaned way over and I put my ear right up to the bird and he said I know him too, just rolling his eyes at the other bird, like he was reading my mind, when I was thinking this guy's crazy behind me, I might stir up the birds, it's like he was reading my mind, I know him too. So I still didn't get this as a dream until I woke up just after this, and so I googled gray birds to see if I could find that picture, because I knew that dream was telling me something, it happens all the time. And when I found the picture with that gray, what I was seeing, it was called a, a gray go-away bird. And he comes from the Afrotropics. So I figure they probably use him in that Egyptian art over there. So they're present in air to moist open woodlands and thorn savanna, especially near surface water. So he was way out of place to be at the ocean. I knew he came out of the way to tell me something. And they're regular in groups and parties that forage in treetops or dust bathe on the ground. And especially when disturbed, they make their presence known by their characteristically loud and nasal call or go away calls. Go away is what he calls. So this bird's got a spiritual meaning. And it's said to be the messenger from the heavens. So all birds are said to be messengers because they connect the heavens with the earth, sky with the earth, you know, emissaries of the celestial gods. So he's known for his call, go away. The bird's call is also believed to alert other species to the presence of predators. So if we should encounter a go away bird, you know, consider your life and the life of all your loved ones. Is there any danger you are not fully aware of? Could the gray go away bird be alerting you? So I went to my letter chart, you know, to break down his message and the letter meanings to see if there was another meaning to it I was missing. You know, I know him too. So I went on to my reading where I was, and I run into this word, you know, too. And uh, I looked into it, you know, to see other ways it was used. And I ran to it here in Isaiah 59 where it comes after attack. So it reads backwards and forwards. So instead of two as into shape, now it's wet who, and but which all wet who would bear of shoe. And so I had to look into that. And when I read it, I could tell it was a prophet and he was just ragging on a prostitute. He was tearing a new asshole. And so I read down and then I went up to read the whole chapter. And sure enough, the whole thing, he's just steadily ripping on a prostitute all the way through. And there's many things in it that tell you he's talking about a prostitute in England. You know, the eggs, the vipers, they hatch in the web of the spider weave. You know, the bits it spawn. In foe to freak of his. To freak, F-U-R-I-O-K-V-I-S. To freak of his. Talking about, talking about her company. And then when you get to the end, you can see that it's talking about the British, Britain, you know, the Britty. And I was really wanting to do a movie on this, 
because I was getting the whole thing, and the whole thing is just constantly ripping on somebody, you know, and it doesn't really let off everything until the end. And that's when it struck me, what that bird was telling me. He says, I know him too. I got to thinking hymns, you know, that's um, Psalms. And so I went to read Psalms too. So I figured he was telling me the the magic spell, you know, for my protection, my protective spell. And this is 12 lines long. And uh, I'm going to read it all the same way I usually do. Except here, there's another mark. And I'm just going to read all through this. I'm not going to explain all these words. So I can try to get the magic spell all worded right. And I'll come back and explain that mark when I'm done. And this first word here lets me know that that's what it is. This la l m m e lama, you know, lama, meaning to paralyze. So I figured it was to paralyze the spell they cast on me. Lame merges gross to guys. Will a miss jig a fire if a tits its view of its situm leechy share its. Where using is news duty had, all have you wall, which is Messiah who none it fee to, omit whereums user a time to, when slice from a mom, when men knew of time to, just wives sieve. Basham's bumum is, is chafing day log, um lame to, zayad bitter barum illum, voila, vapu over unto, evilum to, and any knows in it, chess chitum lackey, all knew it see when, here is Deaf, dizzy, the raps all a chafe you, ram rama illa bin, it tains, just yield it tick, shalom mamini, what intervene, guys no letter, watches it, tis pay, share it, to trows bash button, Receive it and razzle. Catch lie, ye what's verits, written the pixies. Votum leeches, the skill we use her. Use it push pity share. Of diva would do to have you by rest. A guile to brood. Ness fur in wrapping. Panage honor. Pain in parin. A fishin what have do. And to would vat. Darky I've over or come um cat at. A pair's a call. Is to who sieve to. So that's pretty much what it sounds like. It sounds like a spell to reverse the curse. You know, lame rages grows to the guys. Will a miss. Gonna miss you. And the hand, bitter, bitter bear. You know, za. You know, I told you I've seen this word one time before. And it was on an old labeled body. And it was showing the neck. And so to me, it, like it says, cut power, the the kill spot at the neck, za, the yaw, the hand, and then backwards, bitter, bitter bear. You know, you got something bitter in your hand. You're trying to give me, you bitter bear em ill, and then m, wala, w a l a, wala. You know, wala. Arabic expression meaning I swear to God, swear by God, as hand bitter barum, ill, 
Ilum Wala, you know, Il from swear to God, in a poo of her run to. You know, Apu is the term used to describe the spirits of the mountains that protect the local people. As the hand bitter barum Ilum Wala, swear to God, in a poo of, of her run to. Run to the mountains, to a boo, to the protection, evil em to. The raps all of chafe you. Your raps chafe you, your clothes chafe you. And then this little mark above this M here, this S, I just recently figured out. Uh, I see it in some, a lot of other older languages. And it actually means to add the last letter. Usually it comes on the end of a word on the last letter. And so what you do is you read it, you ild, ild it, tit, and then you go back and get the last two letters again, tit, tit. And so it often comes up on the last letter on a word that reads backwards, and so you have to go get the letter from here. But regardless, however it works out, the last letter you read, you go back and read it again when you see this mark. The raps all a chafe you, rum, rumilla. Ben, it too in a see us, yield it tit, and vote, and outum, O-T, you know, V-O-T-E, and outum, and outum leeches, the skill to whose rue, and the skill of my command to awaken em up, and the sheep tops pity share. And then this mark here, it looks like the one that goes underneath, and uh, this is the first time that I've, I've paid attention to it. You know, I know all these marks are different reading levels and different things, and so I believe you you go with the bottom first, whatever the bottom reading direction tells you, and then go back and read it again with this reading direction, which is the same as if it was on the bottom, you would read it what, and then the other way, you know, what would vat of do? You know, so the first time you just read it, what, what of do, what would vat of do? And so I had somebody put a curse on me before, and I know who it was. She's a freak that married a friend of mine, has a little prayer room outside with a King James Bible and a bunch of candles. And, uh, and I knew what she did when I found that big black widow in my mailbox <laughs> and it didn't bother me I just laugh and I felt bad because as soon as I seen it I knew it didn't get me I knew it was going to reverse and sure enough my friend got real sick after that and so I think the words are just to help it along you know to it's like um a psychology you know and power of positive thinking you know if you believe it it happens and so if you do the words right and you believe they're right, then you create magic. But I think um, where they the attack was coming, the bird was warning me about, I think they were attacking my computer. It's really slow today. So hopefully this will fix it. Thanks, little birdie. Hooty hoo. Don't forget. Hooty hoo, Tony hoo. I won't forget. All right, I'm going to cut this off here. Good day.